just got a new Zochirushi bread maker, so it's gonna be my first time using it. Definitely super looking forward to the outcome, and we'll see how it goes. Supposed to make one pound of bread. Actually, it's really easy to take it out. Um, there's a handle here that you could just slip off and take it out from the packaging. And there it goes. Wow. The front. So there are quite a few options of courses that you could use to make different kinds of bread, dough, and other things like cake and jam. So on the inside, on the top, there's a, there's a cardboard with the kneading blade and the, the measuring cups. A little bit more of packaging. There's a tape here. I think that's fine. I think I need to take that off too. And then to take it out, turn it a little bit, and there you go. It comes out. So I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit before using it. Now that the bread making container is clean, and so is the kneading blade, we're going to put the two together. To put the kneading blade on, you just um, kind of match the shape of the opening of the kneading blade with the rod that's coming out from the bottom of the container. And line the two together, line the two up, like so. And you want to turn a little bit, rotate a little bit until the kneading blade falls into place and to check whether it's securely installed wiggle it a little bit left and right to make sure that it's secured and there you go all right the ingredients are fairly simple two cups of bread flour i don't have bread flour so i'm using all-purpose flour here are the two cups here one and a half tablespoon of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. So here are the two ingredients combined. Three quarters of water plus uh, one and a half tablespoon of dry milk. I don't have dry milk, so I'm using three quarters of a cup of milk. One tablespoon of unsalted butter and also one teaspoon of active dry yeast. Alright, here's our bread machine and the baking pan with all the ingredients. So we're going to drop this in and start the bread making. So to put it in, we want to go, go in at an angle. Once it sits, rotate it a little bit so that it's aligned with the bread machine body. And press this down a little bit. Close the lid. And for the French bread, we're going to use course one here. So select the course. It says one. That's the one that we want to use. And we're going to press start. And it started. It's making the bread. We'll see how it goes. There are about 11 minutes left. You can kind of smell the bread already and it's smelling so good. Can't wait to try it. All right, it's done. Let's see how it turns out.
There's the bread. Wow, it smells so good. We can also see that the nut dispenser is opened up. It actually opened up fairly early with a popping sound during the bread making process. Here's the bread finish, so I'm about to uh, pour it out. And Here's the finished product out of the baking pan. All right, so here's the cross section, the cutout bread. So I'm gonna give it a try. Actually, I'm gonna feel it first. So it's very fluffy, soft on the inside. And on the other side, it's a, this is medium crust. So it's a slightly brown. Yeah, I'm gonna taste it. Mmm, it's very soft and fluffy. Wow, that was good.